a failed epoxy floor repair. You have flaking like this in your epoxy floor. It's from hot tire pickup. It's not supposed to happen. I grind this whole floor first with a floor grinding machine I rented from Home Depot. Still happened. Two coats of epoxy, one coat of clear coat epoxy, two part on top. That's three coats total. This is a product from Sherwin Williams that supposedly doesn't need a primer. To fix this, you gotta scrape it real good first, which I've already done. This is four spots everywhere the tires are sitting in this garage. And you gotta get you something rough. I use this Dremel tool with these grout bits. Get them from Walmart for 10 bucks. They're made for grout, actually, but they work great. You gotta scuff this up really good. Give the epoxy something to stick to. Scuff it up like I did here. Really good. It'll give that epoxy something more to grab onto. And, uh, you know, wash the whole floor with a degreaser again. Let it dry for 24 hours. Mix up your epoxy 24 hours later. Touch up your spots, which I'm gonna do for spots. Then you have to come back with the clear coat within 24 hours clear coat it. I'm going to clear coat the whole floor. I'm going to touch up the epoxy spots and then clear coat the whole floor. And uh, that's how you do it. If your epoxy floor has failed, you have to scuff it up really good. That's the main thing. Clean it really good. Give that epoxy something to grab to.